for me uh, we always feel like poverty is a bad thing and we want to come out of it you even want to to help people get out of poor situations and all but for me i think it's it's part of life uh the way we, we, we some people even describe it as a disease and when you say poverty is a disease then you mean like a huge population in kenya is diseased they are they are sick but this is their life like you might die you might get born live and die in the same situation but how do we embrace it and live life in it nishanga niliona mnauliza maswali hata nikasema nunua chumvi ulinunua chumvi kiasi gani ulinunua kafanya hii ni maswali ya watoto mwanzo mwanzo sikuwa nimejua sababu but baadaye nilikuja nikaelewa nikafurahia wakati ulikuwa unakuja unatuuliza na biashara yenye nilikuwa ninafanya wakati huo ni biashara yenye serikali haitaki na ulikuwa una na unaenda unaingia mpaka mahali tulikuwa nimeficha hizo vitu hata nilikuja nikaogopa labda unaweza nipeleka kwa serikali unishtaki uniletee maskari hiyo ndio ilikuwa inanifanya saa zingine nilikuwa muoga hmm. mimi sipendi hizo mambo ya loans nina uoga na loans inaweza kopa labda inishinde kulipa ndio sababu naogopa kukopa loan naweza kopa loan nishindwe kulipa na watakuja kunidai ama wakuja kuninyang'anya ile ile yenye nilikopa nisikuwa sipendi hivyo wanawake challenges yenye tunapitia mimi nikiwa ndani wanaume wengi wameachia wanawake responsibilities most of the respons- in this community most of the responsibilities wamewachia wanawake kujali watoto kulisha watoto in most cases wa, ukienda shule wakita mikutano shule ni unapata out of a hundred utapata wanaume labda ni 10 ama 20 lakini majority unapata ni wamama sasa yani wanawaachia wamama hizo responsibilities nyingi taking care of the kids sasa mimi nilikuwa nimeenda kuuguza dadangu. Wakati nilikuwa huko watoto wakanipigia simu, "Made, oh baba ameuza ng'ombe." Nilikasirika sana. Nilikasirika hata nikasema sasa sijui huyo mzee ni baki kwetu ama ni nirudi kwa boma lakini <laughs> vile nina watoto nilirudi. Hiyo nilikasirika na mzee sana. Lakini wakati nilirudi tulielewana tukakaa tu. Sasa utafanya nini hiyo ni kawaida. naishi katika muda mtaa wa Bangladesh mimi ni mama wa watoto watatu na upande wa riziki yangu katika yangu cha kila siku huwa naenda kangea na kulia watu na na karanga pia nchuru kidogo kidogo nya ajisukuma nayo kwa maisha so uh, mimi na matarajio kuwa i think Mungu anipe nguvu anipe uwezo ili nizidi kwanza watu wangu ni wasomeshe ili wawe na maisha mazuri wasipitie yale ambayo ni mimi nimeyapitia. Maisha mazuri ni mtu mwenye umeajiriwa unajua vizuri kila mwezi wapate 10,000 zako au 5,000 zako unajipanga hata kama ni kidogo unajipanga nayo. Ndio maana yake nimesema hiyo ndio maisha mazuri. Mm-hmm. Kenya ingekuwa inajua ni watu wanaishi huku mashinani kuangalia venye watu wana hustle huku chini na kuangalia wale wenye wana biashara ndogo ndogo ili wa promote at least kitu kama hiyo and then kitu ya pili tena ufisadi ufisadi pia kama ungekuwa hauko at least unge benefit lakini kwa sasa hii misioni manake kuna sasa nyingi kuna sema ni ubinafsi yani hawaelewi kwamba watu wanapitia huku nini chini wanaangalia zao peke yao ah mimi nilifurahisha tu manake nilijua kwamba mtu hawezi tu akakuja tu from now akaanza kukuhoji labda kuna sababu labda kuna tumaini labda kuna kuna kitu anatafuta cha muhimu 
kuna labda nawafaitia kule labda kuna pale na kameza nataka kujua ah wa Kenya wanaishi vipi wa chini maana yake kulingana na hata wabunge wa wetu hakuna mtu yote mwenye amefanya kitu yenye mnafanya hakuna mtu yote mwenye amefikia katika mlango wa mtu akamoji wewe unaishi vipi vipi kwa na sasa baka tangine nalia tangine sasa amekuja tukishare tukishare naona at least nimetulia hata kama hakuna chochote alikuwa ananipa lakini huko share na yeye ilikuwa inanisaidia mimi naona mimi niko sawa kwani nimefikia niko fresh tu eh <laughs>